Next up, Texas Longhorns. Tom Herman's bunch went ten and four last year, seven and two. Now remember, I had them picked for the playoff last year. I know you did. I'm not going to go that crazy this time. Okay. All right. Now I, I I do believe that they are getting better, even with losing as much experience as they do. They've got five returning starters on offense, two on defense. They got an That's, important one. Yeah. Um, on offense. Number 92 in the country in experience returning. That's not good. Number eight in the conference. Tom Herman, Mr. OK Cool, hook him. Uh, 17 to 10 in two years. He loses a ton of experience, but he replaced it with better overall talent that fits into his scheme, that does things the way that he wants them done. And I don't know that that can really be understated. Remember, the best coaches always seem to win early, right? Urban Meyer, Nick Saban, like those guys that come in and they win right off the bat because it's it's the mix of the experience and the changing of the guard, right? Quarterback Sam Ellinger, he's got wide receivers Colin Johnson and Devin DuVernay back. How did, I, did I say that right? I don't know how to say that name. Either way. He got some good wide receivers coming back. That's right. Sophomore running back, Keontae Ingram. He averaged five yards per carry last year. Um, defense coordinator, Todd Orlando, number 67 total defense, replaces the entire front seven. That's where I think they're going to get hurt. And both of their cornerbacks. This is an offensive conference. And, and, and you your, lost your entire defense. And, and, and Herman, Herman is not the defensive guru. Yeah. He better put up the points like everybody else. Senior safety Brandon Jones, however, was their leading tackler last year. He is back. He's going to be a leader. He's going to be leaned on a lot. Uh, they don't have Maryland out of conference this year, so that's good. Well, I was just about but to say. But they do get LSU coming to Maryland Austin. with LSU. And so that's on uh, September 7th. There is enough talent to win the Big 12 this year. Yep. The over-under is 9. The over is minus 105. The under is minus 115. I've got them at 10-2. and two. I think they improve by a game in the regular season. And, you know, I've got a loss at TCU and a loss at Iowa State. I think they beat Oklahoma. I think they beat LSU. I think they beat, you know, they win at Baylor. They, you know, I I like this team. I like what Tom Herman is doing. I think even losing that much experience, this is a significantly more talented team than what he has had there already. You can see the wheels in motion. I like Texas this year. I've got them ten and two. I got them seven and two in conference. You liked them last year. I get that. And they and they were good last year. Nine and three. You know, had they not lost the uh, the Maryland game, like they would have been ten and two again. I understand they did lose the Maryland game, but they did play in the Big Twelve title game. That's a first for them. Okay. <laughs> they 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 could they could easily be all those things. Okay. You're right. And there's more probable than not that they're going to be all those things because Herman is an excellent coach. They are a major program with incredible amounts of talent. But let me tell and, you. And infinite resources. Oh, right? yes, yes. Infinite. <laughs> infinite is a is a good word there. Infinite resources. My issue with Texas is this. There's one fan base, one singular fan base, that has come after us harder than any other fan base for just simply picking against their school. We didn't hate on them. We didn't talk about how they were awful or terrible or whatever. We just didn't think they would win a game. They didn't attack our intelligence. They attacked us personally. That's true. And you know true. what? All of those Longhorns can go suck it. Okay? <laughs> I got them 8-4. and four. I think they're going to lose every big game that they're going to play. They're going to play four meaningful games this year that are going to matter, and I think they're going to find a way to lose it. You know why? Because that fan base is soft. That <laughs> And I think a fan base represents the mantra of a team. Okay? Okay. okay. I, I, I think you can look at teams now, and I, look I, at who... How do you feel about, like, Alabama and Clemson? And, and teams like... Because Clemson came out as pretty hard, too. Yeah, but... I don't think I don't think they were very thin skin. They just thought nobody was seeing them for the juggernaut that they really were. And and to be fair, they were right. And they were right. My problem is not what that we were wrong and they were right. My problem is how thin skinned somebody is. Yeah. Like you just had this great season. We literally just picked a game against you. That's it. Yeah, and we, it was, and we it also was the, the other team, Sugar Bowl. The, Sugar Bowl. Right. the other team we picked 
pretty damn good. Yeah. Like I don't I don't know that, you know, anybody is Vegas had Georgia picked to win that game. Yeah, like by two touchdowns. We're not, we So anyway, it's just one of those things where you're really thin skinned if you're listening to Texas. If you're not, I don't care. If you are, <laughs> then great. You're really thin skinned. You need to get a little tougher about that, okay? And I think you're gonna go eight and four. I think you're gonna lose to Oklahoma. I think you're gonna lose to TCU. I, I think you're going to definitely lose to LSU. Threaten me. Threaten me. Bet you, bet you won't show up in Austin. Gave me a location where I could get my ass whipped. I thought, all right. <laughs> That's not really smart, but okay. All right. There's a philosophy. I, I'm not a tough guy by any stretch of the imagination. There's a philosophy out there that says, yeah. You got to be tough to be dumb. That Texas got to be the toughest place in the world. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Who Chris bringing the fire today? All right, so I got him ten and two. You got eight, him eight and four. And four. Going to a bowl game? Come on, yeah. man. Yeah, eight and four is not bad. They lost four games last year. But considering what they were under Charlie Strong, that's right. Eight and four is an improvement. Not, not after last year, though. I think Sam Ellinger is better than that. I, I, I really, he's a really good quarterback. He's yeah. he's what's going to lead them. By the way, yes, he's got I, crazy talent. He I do agree. All right, 